This is my pavement ant colony. And despite starting from a tiny tube over the past 30 days, they've grown so much and they've become a force to mess with. Over the past month, I documented their lifestyle, behaviors, food preferences, and a ton more. To understand how this all started, we got to go back to day one. It all started with one queen in a tiny tube. The queen recently took off her wings, which is a sign of fertility. She is a queen from the genus Cetremorium, also known as pavement ants. I documented six different challenges that the colony must face. The first one being eggs. The queen has laid a ton of eggs, which now turned into tiny larvae. The queen at this point is feeding the larvae with leftover food she has stored in her gaster, also known as her abdomen. Larvae are soft, legless, and worm-like usually white or translucent, and they really like to eat. I mean, who doesn't? These soft white grubs have finally turned into pupae, which is the last stage an ant has to go through to become an adult worker. Next challenge is to see if the queen ant can successfully hatch her first worker ant. After weeks of waiting, the colony has finally reached a milestone that changes everything. The very first workers have finally arrived. From three workers, they not only doubled, but they even tripled, reaching a great number of worker force. These workers will be a great addition to the colony. Even though the queen succeeded in hatching the first workers, she is still starving, so let's solve that problem by giving them honey. The workers which were fed by the queen's food reserves finally tasted some delicious honey and were blown away by its flavor. They filled up their social stomachs and called for their sisters to help them devour this delicious liquid. Ants need honey for them to have enough energy to do chores around the colony. Not only that, but without honey, the ants will not be able to function properly. I've never seen these ants so happy to be drinking some honey, so imagine what they would do when I feed them the steak at the end of the video. But before then, I need to feed my ants some protein for the queen to lay more eggs. The colony's first and only meal was honey, which isn't protein, so the queen wasn't in full egg production mode. That's why I'm going to give them a dried mealworm. It doesn't provide as much protein as a pre-killed mealworm, but it will do the trick. The colony has been waiting for their first protein rich meal for days. As I put in the mealworm, the ants rushed out like wild animals trying to escape. The colony was in attack mode. They had a threat in their nest, not realizing it was food. But as minutes passed, one ant decided to taste the threat and realized it was a delicious mealworm. She sent out the there's food pheromone, but not all ants received it as they were all panicked. With that, the fourth challenge was complete. Now it's time to make them a new home. This is their new home. I know it may not look like much, but with a snap of my fingers, it was all complete. Now it's time to introduce the ants to their new home. So I put their test tube inside their new habitat. The ants were clueless on what was about to happen. I pulled out their cotton and boom, they were swarming out like kids running to the ice cream van. Their nest entrance was exposed. Predators could enter and the queen wasn't safe. They needed to do something about it fast. So the ants, being smart social insects, carried each soil grain one by one to the entrance of their nest. Whilst the ants were building their new fortified wall, we need to move on to something new. We need to give the colony a source of protein for the work they were doing. I gave them their first luxury meal, which is a piece of giant steak for them. For us, it's just a piece of ham. But the workers were more interested in fortifying their nest to protect the queen. Some ants walked right past the giant plate, not giving a care on what was in it. This ant quit on carrying the soil grain back to the entrance. After a few minutes, an ant wandered right into the plate, finding the juicy steak inside. Whilst the other ants were hard at work, this ant took its time to collect some food for the colony. This means that the queen can feed her hungry larvae and produce new eggs. Not only that, but another rivaling colony was feasting on some ham. Press on the top right to see their video. After what felt like hours, the ants were halfway finished, so I let them overnight working. When I woke up, I was left mesmerized on how much work the ants had done, finishing their project on fortifying their nest entrance. And they even covered the food I gave them with soil to prevent rival colonies from stealing their food. Anyways guys, thank you for watching, I really appreciate your support, and if you could like and subscribe, it would help me make more videos like this. See you in the next video.